So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's cold, it's about 8 o'clock in the evening, it's mm, a bit dark in here, but you know, I've been here all day, what, what can you do? I could put new lights in, I suppose. Anyway, today in this video I'm going to be mm, hopefully improving the condition of the jaws on my Harrison lathe. Uh, chuck, lathe, lathe chuck, lathe chuck. Um, they're pretty damn worn. Um, I've had a look at them, and what, what, what's happened in the past is somebody's actually welded them up and, and re resurfaced them. So I figure, well, why can't I do that? I can do that. But I've got a new chuck, so mm, this is more more of an experiment than anything else. Um, let's have a look at it. Here it is. Um, I'm not sure if you can pick that up, but that's really worn. And if you can see there, there's a weld undercut. So I know that these have been welded in the past and somebody's probably done a good job at some point uh, resurfacing them. But what I'm going to do is take these out, build it up with silicon bronze, and uh, see if we can make them usable again. So I had to make 80 of these pins for a client. This is a sample they sent me. Make 80 of these. Quite a simple operation. And this is what I came against. Now if you have a look, just put that in there a minute. Now bearing in mind, this is a self-centering chuck. You probably can't see the Renee there. I don't want to start the machine yet. I'll, um, I'll bring a, an indicator in so you can give it a better look. Okay, so we've got the dial indicator set at naught. Bearing in mind this is a self centering chuck. So you can, as you can imagine, 80 of these is going to take a long time setting up with a, a chuck in this condition. Right, let's get this one off. Okay, so we've got the chuck off, now we've got to get the uh, jaws out. It's a scroll um, chuck, so it should just wind out. Oh. So, these are pretty damn worn. If you can see there, can you see that? Well done to cut there. So I know these have been built back up and faced off at some point. So I should be able to put a braze on there.
Okay, so I've got this little ring. Um, I'm going to pop it on there just so I can create a bit of tension. A bit of tension on these uh, jaws. Right. So the plan is take this boring bar, this one, take this boring bar inside and just take the Oh, and put an edge on these. Just... Oh, God, I'm scared. Right then. Let's zero this off. Chuck the zero out there. And for the moment of truth. Well, I think that's an improvement. Worked. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, there's a bit of life left in those jaws. Um, so that will actually now become a backup um, chuck. I've got a brand new one over there. So awesome. Who'd have thought it, eh? As always, thanks for coming along, guys. Um, big shout out for my channel sponsors, Extreme Plasma. And thanks for coming along. If you haven't already subscribed, please do uh, give us a thumbs up, give me a comment. As long as you don't give me a bollocking for what I've just done, but you know, here's what it is. Take the rough with the smooth. Anyway, guys, that's it. It's about half past nine in the evening. It's freezing cold. I need to go home, shower, edit, and and see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.